a Stillwater photographer captured the city's history through the lens of a camera. Joe Mazin has his story in this week's So Minnesota. In today's selfie obsessed culture, it seems like everyone grabs a pic with a click. This man captured his own image in front of a camera long before it became fashionable. Probably he was one of the first photographers to invent selfies. These are some of the uh, cameras that John Runk actually used. Brent Peterson with the Washington County Historical Society has an exhibit with several personal cameras honoring the unique history of Stillwater photographer John Runk. John Runk did like to take photos of himself. Runk took photos of himself and everything else in Stillwater for more than 60 years. He would uh, go take photos of things that people would say, why are you taking photos of that building, John? Well, 100 years later, we're thankful that he did. Runk began his career as a photographer in 1899, working behind bars. One of his first uh, jobs as a professional photographer was uh, taking mug shots at the Stillwater prison. He had an artistic as well as a mechanical eye. John Runk actually built his first camera by himself. After opening a shop in downtown Stillwater, he used cutting edge technology to take portraits. Runk had no children, but he would always be seen around town with a baby buggy. He uh, had his uh, equipment in a baby buggy with the symbol on the side of the baby buggy and he'd push it around town taking photos. In the 1940s, Runk discovered eight millimeter film. We re received uh, 48 canisters of film about 15 years ago that he took, and it was just, just like his photos, everyday things. Runk didn't only take photos, he collected them. He put newspaper articles in the local papers and asking for people to bring in their old photos in which he would make a copy of and a negative and make another copy and give the people back their original if he could have the photo for his collection. This is a collage of uh, some of his photographs, uh, I believe about 1,600 that we scanned. When he passed away in 1964, Runk had built an impressive photo collection of the area. That collection was his life and his baby. People come in, they see this, and they come right up and they start looking at photos. His collection uh, was over 4,000 in his historical collection, and it spanned 100 years. One of Stillwater's bowling alleys. Runk's collection was donated to history. The Minnesota Historical Society, the Stillwater Public Library, and the Washington County Historical Society. John Runk said he wanted no money for this collection. He wanted to give it for free, to leave something to behind for the people of Stillwater and the St. Croix Valley in the future. The Historical Society is still discovering Runk photos. Recently, they were given this one from 1957 from an antique shop in downtown Stillwater. And if you look on the back, you'll find Runk's handwriting. Holding something like that is just, it, history just emanates from it. Documenting our history, what we all do when we take a selfie. John Runk, one man who was ahead of his time, behind and in front of a camera. Joe Mason, 5 Eyewitness News. What a gift he left us in this area. He seems quite special. All right, every week, Joe takes us to a different part of Minnesota. Send us your ideas about where he should go next. Just email nightcast at kstp.com.